Now let us see this circuit. In order to solve this, only theorem which is useful is superposition. Okay. Basically, we have seen previously some problems where our mesh and nodal application is better compared to superposition. At that time, I said that superposition is almost useless compared to mesh and nodal. And in some portion, we clearly solve some problems that superposition is very useful. And in some problems, superposition is essential. Without superposition means uh, no Thevenin's theorem, no maximum power, no Norton's, no Milliman's. Okay, so superposition theorem only will uh, solve you this question because this is with different frequencies cos 2t, sin 5t, and zero frequency dc. Zero frequency dc. So, under this condition, superposition only can give you the solution. Okay, see here, of course, immediately after this, we are going to take one more uh, IES problem. Okay, there I can what they say compare this with maybe Milliman's theorem or Thevenin's theorem something like that one question I'm going to take after this okay so see here if I think of DC for DC it will be open circuit it will be short circuit it will be short circuit and this is going to be open circuit superposition only I'm considering voltage source and this is going to be short circuit so my network will become one four five like this 4 ohm, 1 ohm, 5 ohm and he is asking voltage across this V0. So, voltage across this V0. Okay. So, how much is that V0 value? V0 with 1 first case by considering 5 volts only is going to minus 1 volt. Okay. Now, after that, after that, let me consider only current source only current source if i consider current source this should be shorted already you know voltage source voltage magnitude should be dragged down to zero means should be replaced with short circuit and here this also should be replaced with short circuit so this is going to be inductive reactance one ohm four ohm short circuit capacitance and just a minute capacitance this is short and this is going to be current source this is the circuit okay now this is 2 sin 5t 2 sin 5t so 2 sin 5t let me treat it as a 2 at an angle 0 by keeping in mind maximum value i considered for the phasor length so this is going to be 2 at an angle 0 and this is going to be 1 ohm 4 ohm and this is 2 henry's 2 henry's omega is going to be 5 so 2 into 5 j omega l so 10 ohms okay now if you think of this omega is going to be 5 so 5 into 0 0.1 0 0.5 so minus j 0 0.5 2 ohms okay so you have to solve this for v naught for v naught okay very simple this and this are going to be connected in parallel for that it is going to be connected in series so total current into other impedance divided by total impedance you are going to get the voltage value here of course into one ohm one ohm so if you can calculate current flowing through it <coughs> automatically you will come to know voltage i got that voltage v02 actually in these problems you can do some mistake also one mistake also i will tell you just wait 2.498 Fight, you know 2.33 2.33 at an angle 12.09 volts okay now if you consider the third one let me consider this by removing this removing this meaning that it should be open circuit and it should be short circuit okay keenly observe so this is 10 cos 2t 10 at an angle 0 and this is inductance resistance capacitance and resistance short circuit okay so this is 4 ohm this is 1 ohm okay and see here what is uh, c here point 0.1 what is omega now this is not 5 but it is going to be 2 so omega into c 2 into point 0.1 is going to be point 0.2 so this is going to minus j 5 ohm 1 by omega c and here this is going to be 200 is 2 into 2 plus j4 now you have to calculate voltage across this v0 okay so you know these two are connected in parallel r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 kind of z1 z2 by z1 plus z2 plus 1 plus j4 10 at an angle 0 divided by total impedance will give you the current that current into 1 ohm is nothing but voltage v0 so if i have this 
v03 i got 2.498 2.498 at an angle minus 30.79 okay now see in the rush of exam in the rush rush of exam you may do one mistake so what is the total voltage output total voltage output this response plus this response plus this response because i applied super question that side okay so this is going to be minus 1 plus 2.33 at an angle 12.09 just a minute just a minute i know what i'm writing okay plus 2.498 at an angle minus 30.79 now can i combine all these three no 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 because this frequency is different this frequency is different this frequency is different this frequency is dc this frequency is second one i considered second one i considered current source so omega is going to be 5 and third one i considered omega is going to be 2 omega is going to be 2 so how i have to write the equation for this is going to be minus 1 plus second one is going to be sin 5t so 2.33 sin 5t plus 12.09 okay plus 2.498 what is the reference here see here third one is going to be this cos 2t is the reference cos 2t is the reference so this is going to be cos 2t minus 30.79 degrees okay so conclusion is very simple at starting though we started as if our superposition is useless kind of kind of later we have went to black box okay so in black box resistive network it was useful and here if you think of different frequency components it is the only theorem which is helpful for us so in your exam the moment you find different frequencies you don't have any other option except going to superposition okay because if you think of this reactance okay if you think of this reactance reactance of two henry's okay in time domain two henry's but in frequency domain omega l so when omega equal to 0 this is going to be short circuit when omega equal to 5 it is going to be j10 and omega equal to 2 it is going to be plus j4 plus j4 so combinedly how can we play <coughs> otherwise you have to go with transform theory okay now let us think of this question okay beautiful question in the circuit shown in figure which one of the following theorems can be more conveniently used to evaluate the responses in 100 ohm resistor okay so in 100 ohm resistor res, sorry in 10 ohm resistor okay so this is going to be 10 ohm resistor so in 10 ohm resistor we have to find the response okay the moment you see these two voltage sources in series with impedances so you may think of millimans theorem no 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 because you may see here 100 t 200 t different frequency components okay so the moment we have different frequency components and reactance is also there okay so if i consider 100 t omega is going to be 100 so 5 milli henry's into 100 j when i consider this if i don't consider this if i consider this under that condition reactance of this is going to be varied only superposition will work out okay because means in applying millimans for example something like this okay so equivalently i may convert this into this like this okay but we have to combine these two and form this no but here for this frequency it will behave differently for this frequency it will behave differently so millimans theorem cannot be worked out okay if you think of Thevenin's theorem if you think of Thevenin's theorem maybe if i think of this as combined total network combined total network this network can be modeled like like this of course this is impedance okay some voltage source in series with impedance some voltage source in series with impedance okay so this impedance value how can you find because for different frequencies it will behave differently so Thevenin's theorem also will not work out maximum power uh, maximum power will not work out okay so see here in the options Thevenin's theorem will not work out because in Thevenin's theorem only one impedance will come only one impedance will come so we cannot calculate one impedance of this because different frequency components are there maximum power transfer theorem Millimans theorem, Millimans theorem. 
so only superposition theorem is going to be helpful so the only chance of calculating or getting the answer apart from going to what they say transformation theory okay apart from going to there if you need any solution for any network with different frequencies superposition is the only theorem which can help you that is the what do you say thing which superposition can help you much okay keep it in mind thank you